The story of Cain and Abel begins right after Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden. Because they ate the fruit that God commanded them not to eat, sin entered the world and cursed God's perfect creation. Adam and Eve could no longer stay in the garden and now had to live in the world, which was a much harder place to live in. The ground produced thistles and thorns, which made it harder for them to farm for food. Pain, suffering, and death were now a part of life. It was after Adam and Eve left the garden that they had two baby boys. The oldest was named Cain, and the youngest was named Abel. When they grew up, Cain became a farmer and worked the ground, and Abel became a shepherd and took care of sheep. In the course of time, both Cain and Abel gave offerings to God. Since Cain was a farmer, he brought God some of the produce of the land, except he didn't bring the best. He kept the best of his crops for himself instead of giving it to God. Abel also presented offerings to God, except Abel brought the best that he had. He gave God the firstborn of his flocks and the best of his sheep. When God looked upon the two offerings, he was happy with Abel's offering because Abel trusted God and gave him the best. But God was not pleased with Cain's offering. Cain was furious that God was more pleased with Abel. The Lord saw how Cain was feeling and asked him, Why are you furious? And why do you look so discouraged? If you do what is right, you will be accepted. But if you do what is wrong, you are falling into sin. Instead of listening to God, Cain became angry and jealous of his brother Abel. One day, Cain told Abel to follow him into a field. Once they were far away, Cain attacked Abel and killed him. God saw everything that Cain had done, but instead of telling God the truth, Cain lied about his sin. God was very sad about this and told him that because of his sin, he would curse the ground that he worked and it would never produce any crops. Cain would have to be a wanderer for the rest of his life, and this made him very afraid. However, even in Cain's sin, God still loved Cain and put a mark on him so that no one would hurt him. God knew everything about Cain and the sin he committed, and yet God still protected him, just like he does for us.